Hi, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with your story. So the last reading I did a couple weeks ago, I was getting that, getting a very, it was a very emotional reading. I almost felt like crying just doing that reading. Like there was, there was a lot of intense energy in that reading from your person. Um, their energy is very back and forth. They feel a lot of pain, a lot of regret, a lot of nostalgia, um, confusion, kind of looking for an opening, not sure if they have another chance with you. Some of them might have done some reconciliation magic. Let's see what the story is now. End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom. Third party, karmic cycle or karmic partner, mental instability, loyalty, stability, vows. So I feel like a karmic situation is ending. Like either you chose a karmic over your true love and that pattern is ending or they chose um, a karmic over you. Or this might not even be a person. This could just be third party doesn't always mean a person. Third party is just some kind of, um, you know, energy outside of your connection with each other that takes your energy away from the connection. It, it takes your person's energy away. And for some, it was a person. For some, it was a job or a situation, like maybe a living situation. For some, it was mental instability, like your person was mentally unstable. And that was almost like a third energy in itself in your connection, if that makes sense. Like maybe they were bipolar or they had something of that sort going on, but they didn't want to get help for it. Or they didn't see it as an issue before. Or they just, um, could be anything, could be anxiety, depression, just any type of mental instability, um, which is common. Like everyone has that, you know, we all have that. Like almost everyone has something like that going on, you know, it's, it's really common these days, but it just feels like, yeah, like there was some kind of karmic third party energy. It could have been a learning lesson for your person, just something that they were going through. Maybe I do get bipolar for some of them. Like maybe they were kind of back and forth in the connection and like you were kind of just confused about how they were feeling. It does feels like whatever this is though, this person is wanting to fix it. So maybe it is something like that and maybe it is what caused you guys to break up or it, it caused issues for you guys because they couldn't figure out who they were or what they wanted in the past but maybe they're like getting on medication now or maybe they're going through like alternative means like meditation um holistic therapy it's like they're doing something to get out of this energy whatever this is and again there's there's a couple different stories here for, so like i said some of them it's mental instability some of them it's a person like a third party relationship that they're ending um or that you're ending for some, it's like some just some kind of third party energy that that um, created negativity in this connection and took their attention away from you in the past. But whatever that is, it looks like it's coming to an end. This person has breakthrough freedom and I think this person is is taking responsibility for themselves and they're aware that whatever this is, they need to end it if they want to come forward. And it's a good energy. I mean, the, the reading I did a couple of weeks ago was very emotional. It was, it's like their energy is back and forth. Like there is a lot of pain, a lot of regret, a lot of nostalgia, like trying to reconcile you. And I think they're kind of understanding. Some of them are doing reconciliation magic on you. Like they have too much pride to reach out. So they're just kind of trying to like make you reach out first or they just don't know what to say. Like they're just scared. They're just, the person's, your person's very, very emotional, very deep. Um, kind of gets stuck in their head a lot. So it feels like some of them feel like they're taking responsibility for themselves more. Like maybe they were doing the reconciliation magic a couple weeks ago. Like they were just really like crying over you, missing you, trying to figure out how to get you back. And maybe something just clicked like, hey, if I want to get my person back, like I need to take responsibility for, for this energy for myself. Like, like they realize that they can't be doing reconciliation magic and missing you and longing. They were in eight of swords energy, basically. And now they're getting out of eight of swords energy. Eight of Swords is like victim energy. It's kind of like they're, um, it's someone who's surrounded by swords and they're in the center and like their castle and their true love and Ten of Cups and all that is right in front of them, right ahead of them. There's a clear opening, but they can't see the opening because they're so focused on the swords. So it's like the energy I got them in a couple of weeks ago was beautiful, like because they were really emotional, really romantic, just really missing you. But it was also kind of Eight of Swords energy in a way because they were just like, 
like just you know listening to those sad songs that remind them of you just like nostalgic just thinking about old memories thinking about things you've said and done in the past like wishing they could be close to you feeling stuck in their situation and even though this energy isn't quite like as emotional and as as this i actually like this i like this energy a lot though because it seems like they're taking responsibility it seems like they were in that energy where they were really trying to manifest you back, like doing reconciliation magic. And it feels like something just clicked with them where they're like, okay, if I really want to manifest my person back, I can't be in another relationship. You know what I mean? Like instead of just staying in the eight of swords energy where they just listen to sad songs over you and, and daydream about you all the time and, you know, drink about you and, and, um, you know, just miss you all the time and, and try to do reconciliation magic to get you back and all that. And instead, it's like they had they had some epiphany to get them out of the eight of swords energy. Like they let their their spirit guides. There was like a portal or something. Their spirit guides were able to come through and just kind of snap some sense into them. Like, OK, you want to do reconciliation magic? You want your person back? OK, like take control. Stand up in the physical world then, you know. Like, and they, they're realizing it. They're like, okay, like, if I want my person back, I need to make some changes. Like, I need to, if I'm in a karmic relationship, I need to end that karmic relationship. I can't, like, they realized it. Like, they're almost, like, hard on themselves right now, which is really good. It's a really, it's a really drastic energy, energy difference from the Eight of Swords energy they were in a couple weeks ago. Now they're kind of just like, well, like, if I want my person, I better, I better end this karmic relationship. You know what I mean? Like, I can't be doing reconciliation magic if I'm with someone else. Like, they're getting that now. It's getting through their head. Like, that they can't just feel sorry for themselves. They need to make the changes. Or if it's, like, it's some kind of karmic pattern that they had to learn from. So, for like I said, for, for everyone, it's, it's not... It's not a um, romantic connection on their end for everyone. For some, it's, it's something else that was taking them away from you. But it's, like, they had these epiphanies. Like, okay, well, like... I'm going to end this relationship or I'm, I'm okay. Mental instability kept us apart before. Like my, my bipolar disorder kept us apart before. Like I need to go to the doctor. I need to try to be open to getting on medication or I need to try to find a holistic approach to, to handle this because it's not, even though it is a disorder, like it's not okay for me to be back and forth. It's not okay for me to put my person through this. Like they're really, they have like a sense of like honor, like kind of like knight in shining armor, male or female kind of energy where they're like, okay, I'm going to need to do this right. Like if I want it, they're taking responsibility. They're like, I, I need to, they're breaking these patterns, you know, and they're being loyal and stable and making promises and following through with those promises. It looks like, so it's really, it's a really good energy difference. It's very beautiful. Yeah. Willpower, strength, confidence. Pride, stubbornness. Yeah, their pride and stubbornness sometimes gets in the way because there's like a fear of getting hurt. But they're trying to they're trying to heal themselves. They're trying to fix their personal issues so that when they can come back when they come back to you, it's like a stable love offer. It's not just like, oh, I miss you, come back. You know, they want to be like, hey, like, I miss you. And I've been going to counseling the past couple months, like, and I've been doing better. Do you think we could go get coffee sometime? You know, there's like a difference between that and like them drunk texting you like, oh, I miss you. Come over. You know what I mean? Like they want to give you something stable and solid and they want to be good for themselves, too. They really want to work on themselves. So it's, it's a beautiful energy here. Um, and they're trying to get past their pride and stubbornness. It's been an issue for you guys in the past, I feel, but they're trying to use their willpower, strength, and confidence to get past it so they can have this new start with you. Some of them are thinking about taking you on a honeymoon, vacation, proposal poss possibly for some, some kind of adventure, um, just like a new start with you overall. Some of them could have a motorcycle too. <laughs> If you want a private reading, if this is your story, my email address is below in the description box. So, yeah, just send me an email and I can do a private reading for you. Any donations are appreciated too, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. My donation links are also below in the description box. So, let's see. What else should we know about this video? About Oh my gosh, what else should we know about this video? What is wrong with me? What else should we know about this situation? <laughs> Hidden truth. I opened my window. I think that's where I went wrong because I feel like I had to open my window because it like I needed some air, but I feel like it's letting all that like confusing muggle energy in here. <laughs> Hidden truth, dreams, visions, telepathy. Yeah, there's a psychic connection here too. This is a past life connection, a soulmate or a twin flame. 
That Huba Stank song. That Huba Stank song. What is wrong with me today? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, guys. That Huba Stank song, The Reason, is coming into mind. I'm not a perfect person. There's many things I wish I didn't do. Um, but I continue learning. I never meant to do those things to you. I found a reason for me to change who I used to be, a reason to start over new, and the reason is you. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Happiness, warmth, light, domination, control. Yeah, it's like they're wanting to step up and take control in their of their life because they don't want to lose you. They feel like they have to match you. And it's a beautiful energy because most of the times when I do readings like this, like for other like other um, zodiac signs, a lot of times I'll get similar energy, but it, the, it'll be the opposite. The person will be afraid of doing the work. Like they'll be afraid of losing the person, but they'll want to run or they won't know how to do it or it'll be back and forth or chaos. But this is like a rare energy because this person's actually like trying to do the work. They're not just like... You know what I mean? They're not just like nostalgic or trying to think of the right thing to say to drag you back in. Like, no, this person's actually like wanting to like do the counseling for months to, to make this work. Like individual counseling, couples counseling, whatever. Like they're, you know, it's just a beautiful energy because it's like it's very rare to see someone that's actually willing to work on themselves. A lot of the energies I get are just people that want to like drag you, drag, you know, my clients back in. Like they just miss them. They're going to say what they want to say. But this is like someone who really wants to change for you and also for themselves. And this is a good person, too. So I just want to say like this would not be someone that like hit you or abused you or anything toxic like that. That would not be this person. Like, this seems like a genuinely good, honorable person. So I just want to say, because, like, I don't... Sorry, but I just... I don't excuse that. I think if someone hits someone, like, that's that's it. You know what I mean? Like, someone that hit... There's people that just don't hit people, like, in that setting. You know what I mean? Like, there's people that just will never, like... Men that will just never lay hands on a woman. Like, there are just some men that will just not do that. Like, it will never in a million years occur to them to do that. And so once they cross that line, it, like, shows who they are. Even if they change, I still don't think it's ever okay. Like, I would never go back to that. You know what I mean? Or vice versa, like, women that hit men or, or you know, gay and lesbian relationships too. You know, whatever energy you're in, it's, like, there's some, some people that just won't do that. Because it's, like, if someone thinks that that's okay, like, yeah, they might change for a couple of years. But sooner or later when they get really stressed out, they're going to go back to that at some point. You know what I mean? That's why, like... And I've been in abusive relationships. I get it. It's hard. But like at some point you have to just kind of realize like if someone's going to do that, it, it shows who they are. And that's, you know, one warning is enough. One warning should be enough. So I just want to say that for those. If there's someone here that's watching, it's like, oh, this is my person. Like if your person hit you, this isn't your person. This isn't your story. Sorry. Like this is someone or it's someone else. It could be your story, but it could be, be not the person you think it's going to be. It's possible too. Because this is someone that's like a good person that maybe just had some mental illness like bipolar or like anxiety and they like push people away or they were like in a like a third party situation like they chose someone else over you but like regretted it. Um, something where it's it's like a forgivable mistake. It's not like great that they made that mistake, but it's something that you you know you can work through. You know that they're they're a good person like you would know. You know what I mean? But yeah, they're wanting to step up. They're wanting to take control and do right by you and, and be best, be good for you, be good for themselves. Happiness, warm flight. They're wanting, they're waiting. I think they're hesitating to come uh, towards you. Yeah, <laughs> hesitating. <laughs> I think they're hesitating to come towards you because, because they're not sure if you're going to take this, this love offer. They're not sure how you're going to, you know, it's kind of like they're hiding this rose from you. They're like, are, would would he or she take accept me back like would would you take them back would you you know what I mean like they're not sure about presenting this rose yet like they want to they have it the rose is only for you now it's not for anyone else like it's your rose but they're just not sure about presenting it yet because they don't know I think a couple reasons for one thing I think that they really really love you and they're terrified that you're going to say no and they're going to like lose you and it's going to be devastating to them because you're their unicorn for a lot of them it's like you are what is motivating them to get mentally healthy and stable to go to the gym to to save money to be better than they used to be you know it's like you're motivating them and you're kind of their unicorn so they're afraid that if they do reach out and you say no they're gonna lose that they're not gonna have that energy anymore it's like they're gonna be so devastated they're not gonna you know what I mean it's like you're motivating them without even realizing it 
And the second reason I feel like they don't reach out is also because they really want to get stable and healthy before they reach out. They don't want, they, they, they put you on a pedestal. Like they know that you're amazing. They know that they messed up. So I feel like they don't want to just come forward and, um, you know, like I said, they don't want to come forward and like drunk message you. They want to be able to show you something they want. I think a part of it is like, they're afraid you're going to say no. So they want some kind of proof to show you. Like they want to be able to say, cause like if they messaged you and they said, Hey, like I miss you, you could just be like, Hey, F off. Like you, you chose, you chose her or you chose him or you, you, you ghosted me. You did this. So like, bye. You know what I mean? But they want to be, they want to be able to be like, Hey, like, like I miss you. And I've been going to counseling. Like, can we, you know, like I've really been trying so hard. I've been talking to my counselor about you, like something like that. You know what I mean? Like they want something to show you. It's almost like they're like working on finding proof that they've changed to give you. So, so it's good that they're working on themselves. It is a beautiful energy. Um, like I said, if you want me to go more in depth, just send me an email. I'm available to do private readings. Turnaround time is usually pretty quick. Um, typically within 24 to 48 hours, you'll have your video. Um, yeah, and, and donations are appreciated. And please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you for watching.